Hi there, welcome to Cloud-Based Vaping guys. Got another hardware review for you today. No, this is not a mechanical box mod. It's a squonker. But not the horrendously overpriced squonkers that are out there on the market today. This one is from Kango Tech. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Kango Tech have released a drip box. That's what it is. A kind of drip box, but the name doesn't necessarily shadow Kanga's past developments, which have been known to leak and drip. Let's take a look at this exceptional device which Kanga have released. So, without further ado, we'll go down to the bell cam. Let's take a look at Kanga's sponker. wheel myself over again and here we go Ta -da! a Kanga drip box this one is in white as I seem to think it looks a lot better in white but that's my own opinion have Kanga Tech's logo drip box starter kit information drip box starter kit and then on the back, basically just go through all the ins and outs. And you have your scratch and check mark, you have your QR code, list of contents, cautions, and uh, all kind of text, main information, and uh, addresses. So, I'll remove the lid. Come on. And there we go. That to one side. If we check out this, they have Kanga's instruction book, all the useful colours there black, red, and white. You have your battery stickers, if I can get them out. There we go. A lot of people are saying, What is a battery sticker? Well, if you look on this one, with it being white. You have the uh, the air vents there. Should you be using, uh, shall we say, a green battery? Put one of these battery covers on there, so it covers it up in black. And then when you put your battery in, the black will show through the air vent. So you've got a black and white device, so it's all colour coordinated. Put that there. You have your usual authenticity card, USB charger, have a spare squonking bottle, spare bag of cotton, your usual blue screwdriver, spare screws, two spare micro coils and this which is basically a pre-built deck a pre-built pre-wicked deck I'm going to just rub the zoom out the actual deck unscrewed from the device so you don't have to recoil it or re-wick it you can simply just replace all this and there's a there's a way they've done this so if we put all of this stuff back in, because I've got OCD and I like everything to be nice and tidy. Now we'll look at the device itself. Have your squonking bottle there. So we'll just get this to focus in again. There we go. Just pops off from the bottom. Pull that out. And there we go. Fill your squonking bottle up. This is the actual rubber seal that goes into the actual bottle itself. Then once you push the bottle back in, all this pipe goes into the bottom of the device. Like so. Pop it in and there we go. Pop your little component back on there. USB charging port. 
and your fire button that is it you cannot change the voltage or the wattage on this device it is locked but it's locked at a certain power to actually run the build deck that is on it to remove the top like so have your lid and two air channels there which are controlled via the chuff cap what you have there is a two post deck design which is pre-wicked and pre-coiled by Kanga themselves and the actual build deck itself is actually removable now Kanga have not yet released replacements for this but the way they have done this throw this in back out again is that on there you can see numerous holes that are around the bottom of the build deck this is so when you squeeze the squonking bottle the liquid then travels up these posts a bit of fluff there and then floods the deck that way if you wish you could in theory quite easily recoil and re-wick this can I get the bugger back on now there we go there we go you can recoil and re-wick this should you wish I mean it's fairly easy I mean you have your main fire button there which will flash if the battery is dead and here is your battery terminal so what we'll do is we'll put the lid back on get a cloth throw the room back in give us some white because I've got just a bit of e-liquid on it now the battery is fitted via this device now you grab the knurled bit and unscrew it just like that it is negative up positive down it's the same process fitting the battery as it is on the uh, the Kanga knee box so we'll screw this back on careful not to cross thread it because with these things it is a pig to put back on why they always do bloody screw designs is beyond me it's an absolute bugger to do you, uh, you, you do risk the chance of cross threading this Oh, right, okay. Bear with me a second, guys. Whee! There we go. Now, you can hear the battery rattling. You have an extra screw just there. Turn that so it's finger tight. And that stops the battery from wobbling around. Now the process of this is to fill your squonk bottle up and then give it a few squishes. So the liquid travels up, floods the deck, and when you release it, the excess e liquid is taken back into here. Although because I am running out of e liquid. <laughs> I'm having to do it the cheats way. We'll flood the deck out that way.
put the end cap back on and there we go that is the Kanga drip box in all its glory so we'll head back up to the main cam we'll take a vape and we'll have a we'll have a discussion so, right there we go drip box fully wicked ready to go I haven't filled up the squonking bottle because I'm extremely short on any liquid and I don't really want to fill all this up just for a quick demonstration. So, I believe it is 0.2 ohms in this. See how it performs. Wow. That is a massively smooth draw. That is really really lovely. Don't get a lot of crackling noises or spitting. It doesn't have spit back protection on this unfortunately. Um, it's a dual coil build on this. And with both airflow controls fully open, let's have them half and see what the flavour's like then. Well, Ganga, from everything else I owned that's from you, which I had issues with, like the leak box, this, you've done a fantastic job. The only thing I would, would have preferred to have seen on this is uh, variable wattage control, perhaps maybe even variable voltage or even both, and screw cover three batteries. I mean, really, did you have to do that? Could you have not just cut the back out and popped it in like with, with the K-Box? And the Sub-Box? Sub-Box Mini? K-Box Mini? The problem you have with the bottom of this is it's easy to unscrew. Screw it in. It's a very rough screw. You, you do risk the chance of cross-threading this if you're not careful. Release a V2 with an open back end for your battery and variable voltage. Oh, it'd be brilliant. I mean, it's good now. That will sell it. Really, it would do really, really well. Vaping, fantastically smooth draw. It's not too harsh, it's not rough, it doesn't spit uncontrollably. You get fantastic flavour, great vapour production. It is just, well, it's brilliant. In my own opinion, what Kanga have done is made squonking available for everyone. The original squonk boxes were excessively high priced. I mean, you're looking maybe £150 above for a squonker. These value from maybe £25, £30, around under 50 quid. Under £50 for a squonker. Yep, it's not variable wattage. Yes, it's not variable voltage. But it does what it says on the box. It's a squonker. It's brilliant. In my own opinion, one of Kanga's finest achievements. And with creating something like this, it means I can go on to do better things. I mean, the K-Box was good. The K-Box Mini was fantastic. All the stuff they've done has been relatively decent, apart from their knee box, which, yes, was kind of hit and miss with leaking. Same as sub-tanks. But... Drip box. What more can you ask for? It does exactly what it needs to. It squonks, it vapes, it's, it's, it is really a good little device.
Not too big. I mean, comfortably, well, comfortably in the hand. And you can vape with your thumb. You can turn it around and you can vape with your finger. Cheap, squonking, it does exactly what it's supposed to. I got this from Romart Superstores, I paid £40 for this. You can get it cheaper if you shop around. I mean, some places you'll have uh, sales on which you can get it less than £20, but it's a fantastic little device and I really do like it. And I have a feeling that I'll be using this a lot more than what I have been. Well, from me, from this video, from the, excuse me, Titus Bonka, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now, and vape safe.